There's nowhere more beautiful in the world to go walking than Ireland. And there's nothing the Irish love more than a good yarn. So it's no coincidence that everywhere you go here, stories are woven deeply into the landscape. Like here in Glendalough, in the Wicklow Mountains National Park, just an hour's drive out of Dublin, I'm following one of the most popular walks in the park, the Spink Loop. It starts from the visitor centre and winds its way through about 10 kilometres of stunning forest, lake and mountain before circling back to the beginning. 1,500 years ago, this was the stomping ground of St Kevin, patron saint of Dublin and Glendalough, and Ireland's answer to St Francis of Assisi. This place was founded by St Kevin and it's Ireland's finest example of an early Christian monastic city. I remember the first time I came here, it was as a child on a school trip. And I remember the thing that really struck me was just how many burns there are on the gravestones. It's like walking through a family plot. This is known as a bullen stone. They're dotted all over the area here and they date back to prehistoric times. They were used as mortars for grinding up food or medicines. They've now, of course, been imbued with supernatural properties. It's believed that anyone who washes their face in the water of a bullen stone will retain their youthful looks forever. So now you know my secret. Kevin spent most of his time praying, but uh, he did manage to fit in a miracle or two, you know, talking to animals, bringing people back to life, turning other people to stone. You know the sort of thing. This is Pool and Ass Waterfall. Pool and Ass comes from the Irish means hole of the waterfall. So it's hole of the waterfall, waterfall. There's a plunge pool down there as well. I, I would get in, but I didn't bring me swimmers with me. If you're worried your navigational skills aren't up to scratch, Glendalough is the place for you because all the paths are really well defined and the whole place is dotted with these way markers, so you'd be hard pressed to get lost. That is a spectacular view of the upper lake at Glendalough, where for several years Kevin made his home, communing with nature. There's a lot of stories about his love of nature and his love of animals particularly. The, probably the most famous one would be uh, about the blackbird. Kevin was praying with arms outstretched and the blackbird landed in the palm of his hand. The story goes that Kevin was so moved with love for the little creature that he couldn't bear to disturb her and he's said to have remained perfectly still for months, waiting until the eggs hatched and the fledglings were reared. Finding himself linked to the network of eternal life, as uh, Seamus Heaney wrote in his famous poem about it. Imagine being Kevin. Which is he? Self-forgetful or in agony all the time? Yep, it's one to ponder, I suppose. It's not like he had kids to look after, you know? As well as historical perspectives, this walk offers some of the finest views in all of Wicklow. Right behind me there is Glen Elo Valley, which is a beautiful bit of scenery. And if you're lucky, it's enhanced by a sighting of Sika Deer. You can see why Kevin loved this place so much and the animals in it. It makes for the perfect Irish country walk with loads to discover and beautiful sights to see. Just across the lake there, you can see the remains of St. Kevin's Church, which was actually built for him by his followers so that he could preach in it. And then along there as well, there's a cave that Kevin used to sleep in. Seven years he spent sleeping on the floor, the stone floor of a cave. Can't say I fancy it much. I'm off to finish my walk and then get a taste of Ireland's legendary hospitality instead. There you are. Yeah. How's your day? Well, that's another story.